Hello and welcome to Hamster Guitars. My name is John Paul Burnett and these videos are an account of my build of the very first guitar that I've ever made. It is a bass guitar a version of a Rickenbacker 4003. Here you find me struggling trying to cut the back out of my neck blank. My problem is the gap between the jaws of my bandsaw are just too narrow for this neck. As you can see, I'm, I'm desperately trying. It's actually touching the top and the bottom of the equipment, which isn't good. It's causing it to stick, the blade doesn't like it, and it comes eventually to a, a stop. The, the, the blade stops going round and I have to turn it off. But there you go. So, I, I try again, but it, it, it just won't have it. So in the end, I just take it out and have to rethink. My rethink is to take a couple of millimetres off either edge of the neck blank and then try again, which I did and it cut this time but it cut awfully as you've just seen I couldn't see what I was cutting and it left it a very wavy cut doesn't matter though because I can I can get rid of that easily enough and although this looks like a, a dog's hind leg uh, on the back of it I can I've got enough for the amount of millimeters that I need to put that bit of extra thickness on the back so I'll, the next job is to glue that piece onto there as such and uh, we'll, be, we'll be set to go. So here I am with the piece all glued and the clamps in place. All the glue that squeezed out has been taken away and now I will leave this for 24 hours for that glue to cure and set there we are a full 24 hours later and it's time to see if my little rescue mission has worked here I am taking off the clamps one by one it's very tense it's a very tense moment this because although I can see this side the 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 match is perfect and there's no gaps in the joint I don't know what the other sides like um, I'm hoping that it's gonna be good but the only way I'll find out is when these two last clamps come off and I actually physically get to look at it there we go last of the clamps you notice it's on I had it on grease proof paper so it didn't stick and I'm happy to report that it's a wonderfully good joint um, you can't see any gaps it didn't slip and it's you know just as I want it and there we are I'm showing you the happy event that what I did actually worked really pleasing moment for me that so now let's remove that little piece of excess at the front I am in fact using my saw that I bought to cut my frets this is because I don't own at this moment in time a hand saw obviously that's something that I'm going to put right I'm going to do that today um, because I will need a good hand saw to cut the actual neck angle I've done it again <laughs> neck angle I mean headstock angle and there we are that's ready it's now ready to thickness and as you can see I'm happy okay there we are again now at the stage where I have cut the back where the neck
neck's going to be. So that's a bit nearer to the shape it wants to be. And I have, in fact, glued that piece on to the back of the guitar to give me my 37 mil that I needed in the first place. So today I'm going to re-thickness this part, just this part here, and then I'm where I need to be. Ah. Then it'll be a case of doing the angle for the headstock. So, what it is today, we're re-thickenessing. Here you see me adjusting the thicknesser. You see the, the bottom plate rising as I'm twisting that adjusting handle. Alright, we're just checking to see if it goes in. First of all, without much effort, which it does. So then it's time to turn it on. And put it through. There we go first pass it's only that part that's getting done the rest of the rest of the the neck isn't getting touched by the thickness of blades it's just that body part that I put that extra piece on that I'm doing I put it through and just take off a half millimeter at a time reason for this is I'm I'm not in a hurry for one and for two I'm keeping my blades nice and sharp by not treating them too badly by asking them to take too much off it also stops the wood from chipping out if you don't take too much off at once some might find it tedious putting it through and through and through and through but that don't bother me I'm just happy that my previous mistake uh, is is now seemingly being fixed and proves the point that there is always another way and there you have it it's beautiful uh, you, you know you can't tell that that's another piece that's on no no gaps it's all ready to put the body wings on and that makes me a very very happy man We are at the stage where I've got the wood back to 37mm that I need it, taking the piece from there, putting it on there, and then as you just saw earlier, putting this back through the thickness planer. I have routed two channels for the truss rod which fits very nicely yeah. marvellous and I've got these two little bit ouch so and what I'll do with these these fit inside there. On that side. And one on this side. rod exactly in place because these will be glued in and then when they're down to the truss rod I will plane the top of those off so it's flat flat to the neck then the fingerboard will will go on now with the trouble that I had with the bandsaw not being wide enough and 
it was really wavy because I couldn't see exactly what I was doing and it was hard to keep it in place. So I'm going to have to cut the neck angle by hand. I'll have to use a, a, a decent hand saw and carefully cut it. Once I've got that done, once I've got that done, I can then put the fingerboard on here, glue it on, and then we're ready for the next stage, which will be to build the body, shape it, sand it all down. I won't do the frets just yet, because what I'll do after I've got this cut is I'll put the four holes for the pegs. So, I think we will draw this one to, a hen to an end and uh, hey, uh, you know, we're back on track, back on course. The, the, the problems over with and once I get this headstock cut, it, as far as the woodwork's concerned, it should be pretty even sailing from there on. So, on to the next one. I do hope you've found this episode interesting and carry on to watch all the subsequent ones. I'm enjoying building it. So, to find out how I get on, please subscribe to my channel. Maybe leave a like or a comment. That would be absolutely brilliant. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.